Uh, hi everyone, uh, I'm Doug Tolgar, software CTO of ZSpace, and today I want to talk to you very briefly about WebGL on ZSpace and how it works. First, let's talk about ZSpace itself. Um, this is actually a ZSpace system here, and you can see it up on the screen. ZSpace is basically an a all-in-one PC integrated mixed reality type device. It actually has three main components in it which give you the illusion of, of interacting with virtual objects in 3Space. The display is actually a 24 inch high def uh, passive stereo display. And so it's a quad buffer display, full stereo support, but it does all the um, passive polarization uh, operation in the display itself. So the glasses are actually very lightweight. There's no shutter glasses in the glasses at all. They're just uh, polarized lenses. The second piece to the ZSpace system is uh, the tracking that's integrated into the system. So it will actually track the glasses so it knows where you're actually looking. And so um, as it tracks the glasses, it makes that information available to the application. Uh, in our case, we'll talk about how it makes it available to WebGL. Um, and that uh, allows the application to render um, very accurate 3D visualizations of the objects that, that appear to actually exist in uh, physical space. And then the third piece is the stylus. And the stylus is a six degree freedom device which is fully tracked. Uh, every frame we give you the position and orientation of the stylus. Um, and it has some buttons on there that you can interact with and it can do vibration and has an LED. So why are we here? Um, ZSpace has actually been a member of Kronos for three years. Uh, we've uh, participated in a couple different projects. Um, a couple days ago, we announced that we were one of the founding members of OpenXR, so we fully support that, and uh, we look forward to that being developed and coming out so that everyone can write to a single API for all VR devices. Uh, but today, I want to talk a little bit about what we do with WebGL. If you look at how standard WebGL works, um, when you go to a page which has WebGL application enabled onto it, the WebGL rendering actually goes to an off-screen buffer, an off-screen image, and then that image is handed off to the browser, which then composites it into the actual screen that you're viewing in the browser window. So the compositor is actually doing the, the blitting to the window. So this works great for mono type content, but for stereo content, which is what ZSpace does, it gets slightly more complicated. So as ZSpace is actually tracking the, uh, the, the glasses in this case, we actually feed that data up to another uh, web technology called WebVR. And WebVR is a way to actually abstract away virtual reality tracking type devices and then make that data available to uh, JavaScript. So we give our data to WebVR and then the WebGL application connects into WebVR and it then can each frame get the information from WebVR to do the appropriate stereo rendering for the left image view and the right image view. And so that's the connection point from WebGL into um, the two views. So now we got to figure out how we get those left and right image views into the actual window itself. And what we've done is we've prototyped an implementation where we've modified the Chrome browser and the compositor inside the Chrome browser to actually take those two views and render them as a stereo image inside the actual browser itself. Since our display is a quad buffer stereo display, we can do window type stereo rendering. And so what we've done is we basically modified the compositor to look for the second image. And if it sees a second image, it knows that that area of the browser should be rendered in stereo. And so it does the left eye uh, rendering into the window that you see there. So that's a quick overview of how we actually do what we do. Um, so now what we're going to do, we wanted to talk for very little. Um, we have a system set up over here. Feel free to come over and play with it and try it. And if you have any questions, go ahead and ask them now. Um, or we'll be around for a little while to answer any other questions. There.